look at it snowed or it's still snowing wow look at that i didn't even know i feel a little bit better right now <sighs> i knew that i had all this stuff to do coming back but today i it's just a lot so get my key fob reprogrammed there was a mechanic who was so gracefully willing to let me come in because he's been booked up he's booked up until june one of my tire one of my wheel wells was rubbing on my tire and the under paneling of my car is drooping and i just i it's super snowy out i just i didn't want to have to do it myself so just went in and they only charged me like 20 bucks and it was so nice oh i can't say enough about them bouchard and sons if you're ever in burlington vermont they're a great place to go um they treated me very well and i also have to get my laundry done today uh but i can't leave my car until i get my key fob reprogrammed because i can't lock my car it's so snowy out and there's just a lot to do this morning so we're getting there we're getting there oh gracious i am heading out of burlington for the first time since i think accumulatively about four or five days and it's become kind of a home to me on this journey it was a familiar place to come back to when i flew in from atlanta I really enjoyed being in Burlington. It's kind of bittersweet, to be honest. But on to the next. On to the next. Right now, I am at the entrance of what's called Bloom Gorge. And it is just north of Lincoln, New Hampshire, but two days ago they closed because of maintenance on the trail. staying here in Augusta, Maine, where I am now. And I spent about an hour here, maybe an hour and a half. And it's a really cool city. And I really like it here, but um, I did some research and it looks like the crime rate is pretty high here. So I don't want to make my decisions on this trip out of fear, but I do have to be smart. And there's another town that's about an hour away that is like the top rated safest town in Maine so I'm gonna just head over there and I'll find a, a spot to sleep there tonight instead ladies and gentlemen I've made it to the East Coast Wow only took three weeks <laughs> of course I took a little pit stop in Seattle and Atlanta I made it to the West Coast before I made it to the East Coast but I made it. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous out here. If you're like me and you've never even seen a picture of what Maine looks like, for anybody wondering, this is what Maine looks like. Really gorgeous. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. And I didn't stop and get a map or anything. So I kind of just pulled up my uh, maps here on my phone and zoomed it out quite a bit. And uh, I guess I'm kind of just trying to aim for the coast. To be honest with you, I don't think that I can make a wrong turn because from what I've seen so far, this place is freaking incredible. Oh, look at that bridge. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my goodness. 
Ah, this place is gorgeous. I can't get over it. If you guys were wondering what I do to basically lock down my car during the night whenever I go out, I've got this big umbrella-like sunshade thing that goes over my windshield like this. It's pretty cool, I found it on Amazon. And then I've got basically, well here I'll show you. For all the other windows, I made cutouts basically of my windows and I black duct taped one side and the other side I left blank and they're basically just like foam core board and it's easier to do when the doors are open but you just slide it in like that and pop it in boom done then I just do that with all the other windows and I'm good to go and yeah it's pretty pretty airtight like no one can see in ever and it blocks out most light when like I could literally take a nap in here during broad daylight. It blocks it out pretty good. Well, I just went and got a lobster roll in Maine. And it was absolutely delicious, for one. That's kind of what you gotta do when you're in Maine, right? You gotta go get a lobster roll. I feel like that's kind of required. I think the only two things that I knew about Maine coming into it is that they've got good lobster and good beer. So I went and got both and they were fantastic. I also talked to somebody in the bar, shout out to Paul. He told me the best view in Acadia National Park. So I'm trusting him and I'm going to go on my second attempt to go find a good view of Acadia. Look at this view as I'm driving down. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that that guy told me where to come because this was, oh, so beautiful. I can't believe this is real life right now. What a beautiful view.